Adding a non-Steam game into Steam to use the Steam controller. It's actually pretty easy. So I just got Escape from Tarkov. I'm excited to play it, but I absolutely want to be using the Steam controller to play it. So to do that, I need to add it into Steam. So I just wanted to make a quick little tutorial here. This is something I've... I have addressed this in the past, like with uh, playing Origin games. But I figured this would be a good, you know, a good refresher. And also just specifically with something like this, like this is just the launcher, so I do not want to add this to Steam. That's not really going to help me. You'd want to click on play and then, you know, figure out where that, you know, the actual game EXE is. That's what we want. Which I've already done and I determined, you know, that's where I installed it. Escape from Tarkov, Escape from Tarkov EXE. So that's what I'm going to need to add into Steam. Now, before we do that, just as something, you know, in Steam, we want to go to Settings. And you're just going to want to make sure that you have Steam Overlay while in game. It's always a good idea. Use Big Picture Overlay when using a Steam controller. Particularly, like, I know for this game I'm probably going to need a touch menu, because there's, like, a lot of hotbar, 1 through 9, you know, just... Trust, just trust me. I know people hate the big picture mode. Just click this. I mean, maybe, maybe at some point in time, Steam will change that. You know, they'll, with this new uh, update they're doing. But for now, it's always better to just keep the big picture overlay because that's what the controller runs off of to be able to edit the controller while in game and to have touch menus and all that jazz. So, okay, we got that covered. So, all right, we're gonna go to Steam, go to games, add a non-Steam game to my library. And we could see if this, just let it load. Let's see if this pulled it up. No, I'm not seeing it in this list. So, easiest thing to do is going to be browse. It's in documents. EFT. Escape from Tarkov. Boom, there we go. And then from here we can... Let's, uh... Yeah, let's... Just add some sp I'm just using my keyboard for this because it's easier than fussing around. Oh my god, spoiler alert. I guess you're, you're seeing my real name. So yeah, now... You know, just and just remember, for something like this, you know, we're adding the game itself, not the launcher. So every once in a while, you know, boot up the launcher just to make sure the game is getting updated. But we don't need... This is just a shortcut to that EXE. So the game's updated. So let's just check it out. Okay, and that, that is what you want to see. That means we're getting the Steam overlay. Okay, I just forced the game into a windowed mode just so you can see. Let's make sure, yeah, okay. So we're getting the Steam overlay now. Now I could get in there and start making a profile, but that, I think I will leave that for another video. This, ooh, I'm getting, there's some fuzziness up there. I'm gonna have to fix that. But yeah, this was just, um. Just to show you how easy that is to add a non-Steam game into Steam and get the overlay working, and then particularly with a game that has its own launcher. You want to add only the game EXE. Want to make sure that you have Big Picture running when using the controller. You want to make sure you see that little thing that pops up, the little notification, like a little box that comes up that says you're using your controller. And then when you hit the Steam button, you want to make sure you have the big picture overlay so you can configure the controller. So that's it, I'm good to go. Now I just need to make the profile for the game. So, all right, I will see you around.